This lesson overviews the basics of the application's user interface to help operators navigate the system more easily. Specifically, it provides a high-level overview of the links and tabs most relevant to operators who need to monitor the system. After completing this lesson, you'll be able to log into and out of the application. You will also be able to access the user links, the monitor tab, the identities tab, and the reports tab, as well as identify the purpose of these tabs. To log into the application, open your preferred browser. In the address bar, enter the IP address of your appliance. Enter your operator username in the highlighted field. Enter your password in the highlighted field, and then click here. The application's homepage displays. This page may look different depending on how the system preferences are configured or depending on the level of permissions that you have. From here, navigate to other areas of the interface through these tabs and links. This demonstration provides a basic introduction to some of these tabs and links. We will build on this foundational knowledge throughout the course. The user links are located at the top right corner of the UI. Click these links to perform basic tasks in the application such as changing your password and account settings, accessing support and help, and logging out of the application. First, let's take a closer look at this link. The account page loads. Use this page to change your password if necessary. The strength of the password you use is important. The more combinations of numbers, letters, and characters you use, the more difficult it is for unauthorized individuals to break into the system. The password must be at least four characters long. In this field, you can enter the maximum number of items that are listed per page. For example, if you enter 20 in this field, only 20 identities appear in the identities page at a time when searching for identities. Note that this configuration does not affect all tables in all pages. In this drop-down list, you can select the initial number of rows you can see on the monitor page. So for example, if you enter 200 in this field, 200 of the most recent transactions appear in the monitor page. You can also change your home page using this drop-down list. However, depending on your level of permissions, you may not be able to access or use the features in some of the home pages. For example, operators that only have permissions to monitor the system may not find it useful to make their home page the panels page because they may not have the permissions to edit the features on this page. Use this drop-down list to change your default language settings. Click here to clear all customized settings. We will overview the remaining fields later in this course. Click here to save your customized settings. Now, let's take a look at this link. The application comes with a comprehensive set of easily accessible help files, which provides detailed information on the many features of the application. The help files load. The help files are context sensitive. This means that the help file loads for the situation that is associated with that state. For example, if you're in the monitor page and click on the help link, help files specific to the monitor page load. The setup links are at the top right corner of the UI. The setup links are used to perform tasks such as configuring port settings, backing up the system, configuring schedules on the system, updating the system, sharing information with other systems, and more. Because operators that only monitor the system do not need to know how to perform these tasks, we will skip over these links. The task tabs are located here. Most tasks on the system are carried out by using these tabs. For example, operators with the right permissions can use these tabs to enroll new identities onto the system. Operators with more permissions can configure the hardware on the system using these tabs. In this demonstration, we will overview only the tabs that are most relevant to operators who only need to monitor the system. Let's start with this tab. This is the application's oversight feature. Monitoring operators can perform tasks such as monitoring events in real time, searching for events, monitoring alarms and doors, and more. From the main page, access the Identities tab by clicking here. The Identities page loads. There are two types of identities on the system. There are identities who monitor and administer the system, which are called operators. And there are identities who move throughout the space that the system monitors and controls. These are called card holders, because usually they need cards or some other form of token to open doors and move throughout the space. From this point on, we'll refer to all people on the system as identities as a general term, or as either operators or card holders as specific terms. 
Note that some card holders can also be operators, as operators also require cards or other forms of tokens to move around the space in addition to monitoring and administering it. Operators with the right level of permissions can use this tab to search for identities enrolled on the system. Depending on their permission level, they can also add, edit, or delete identities registered on the system. Some operators can also use this tab to determine where these cardholders can go in the space, to store an identity's photo, to create printable badges for identities, and more. Operators with the right permissions can use this tab to generate and customize status reports of the system. Through accessing the sub-tabs, some operators can generate reports on many aspects of the system. The system contains approximately 26 predefined reports with filtering capability. Reports can be exported in spreadsheet or PDF format. Since these three tabs, the Monitor, Identities and Report tabs, are most relevant to operators who need to monitor the system, we will overview them in greater detail throughout the remainder of this course. Click here to log out. To sum up, to log into the application in your preferred browser, enter the IP address of your appliance, enter your username and your password. The operator buttons are at the top left corner of the UI. Here you can view your account page, obtain support for your system, view contact sensitive help, and log out of the application. The icon taskbar is located at the center of the UI. Here, monitoring operators can perform tasks such as tracking events, monitoring alarms, and generating reports.